Joe Jonas, Jake Gyllenhaal, Harry Styles, Taylor Lautner, and John Mayer. These are just some of the guys Taylor has dated over the years, and there's many more. Ever wonder why so many of her romances have hit the headlines and then hit the rocks? Does Taylor have commitment issues jumping from one man to another like a teenager? Or is it her partners who are not ready for a woman who is independent, strong, and successful? So is Taylor the problem or is it her boyfriends? Watch till the end to find out. What makes Taylor Swift different from most celebrities is how honest and open she is about her relationships. But the only way for us to know will be when she releases another album or song as she finds inspiration in her love life. Maybe she is unable to stop finding new victims to write about in her songs because it brings her so much success since her songs are so relatable. Is she subconsciously addicted to drama and heartbreak which inspires her music? Have you heard of the myth of the tortured artist? Meaning that all good artists must live in a constant state of suffering and struggling since their misery brings them inspiration. So is Taylor Swift one of them? What do you think? Let's take a look at her relationships. Her dating history is filled with spectacular men, men girls will die for, and one of these men is Joe Jonas. This bad boy and our lovely Taylor started dating in July 2008 and ended in October 2008. The breakup and the aftermath was messy. They dated for four months. Later, Taylor Swift revealed on Ellen a month after he broke up with her. As she said, I'm not even going to be able to remember the boy who broke up with me over the phone in 25 seconds when I was 18. Later, it was revealed that Jonas broke up with Taylor because of the actress Camilla Bell, who he dated from 2008 until mid-2009. Taylor told the pub at the time, they've been together since we broke up. That's why we broke up, because he met her. Yikes. This messy breakup inspired one of Taylor's hits forever and always, and we all know what the song is about. Okay, moving on, which she did. A year later, she dated Lucas Till. And if you ever watched Taylor's You Belong With Me video, you'll know what I'm talking about. The comment Lucas gave MTV was what broke my heart. He said, we dated for a little bit. But there was no friction because we were too nice. We just really liked each other. But most relationships work out because you get along and then you don't, and then you make up, and it's passionate. And with us, I really just liked her as a friend. That's the only reason that didn't work out. And they dated from March until April. Well, as long as they were both happy with their decision, it's all good. Do you remember Jacob from Twilight? Of course you do. Taylor wrote Speak Now's Back to December about him, and he was asked in 2016 what he thought about the song. He simply said, That's what she does. This couple's Valentine made them special and popular as a couple. But unfortunately, that relationship is over. But in recent times, they are still friends. But he got married to another Taylor. Wow, too much? 2009 was such an iconic year for Taylor Swift's dating life because that same year, she also dated John, the John Mayer, but it ended in February the following year, and the reason for their breakup was an overreaction, literally. It's safe to say their breakup broke the internet, and we all thank John Mayer for that. His reaction to Taylor Swift writing Dear John about him wasn't romantic to him, he was very upset. His interview with Rolling Stone in 2012 confirmed that he was bitter and caught off guard saying, I never got an email, I never got a phone call, I was really caught off guard, and it really humiliated me at a time when I'd already been dressed down. I mean, how would you feel if at the lowest you've ever been someone kicked you even lower? He also added, I will say, as a songwriter, that I think it's kind of cheap songwriting. I know she's the biggest thing in the world, and I'm not trying to sink anybody's ship, but I think it's abusing your talent to rub your hands together and go, wait till he gets a load of this. That's bullshit. Well, John needs a chill pill. In October 2010, Taylor Swift started dating Jake Gyllenhaal, and by the following year, in January, it was confirmed they broke up. Jake broke up the relationship with Taylor Swift unexpectedly out of nowhere Taylor was left heartbroken. She wrote a lot of songs about him on Red, but she didn't mention names this time around. In November 2012, Taylor Styles was born. 
That's right, she dated Harry Styles. Remember the song, Out of the Woods? It was about Harry. December, they were seen in the Central Zoo holding hands. In January of the following year, they broke up. But things got awkward. At her 2013 Grammy performance, she used a British accent, dissing him. Harry Styles also wrote a song about her, Two Ghosts. But for years now, they have been friends, and it's kind of cool on their end. Two years later, someone had made her fall, and it was Calvin Harris. In February, Calvin Harris and Taylor Swift met at the L Style Awards. By March, they were already wearing matching outfits at Whole Foods in Nashville. And it was really clear at the May 2015 Billboard Music Awards, as they even kissed on camera. Two months after celebrating their first anniversary, Harris broke up with Taylor, and the reason was that he accused her of cheating. May 2016 brought Tom Hiddleston. And this love story all started when Taylor Swift and Tom Hiddleston were dancing at the Met Gala. Not too long after that, pictures of them kissing in Rhode Island went viral, while fans were still guessing if it was them in the pictures. Tom Hiddleston met with Taylor's parents and was seen at the Selena Gomez concert, and he was wearing an I Heart TS tank top. In September 2016, they broke up as some people believe Tom wasn't with Taylor for the right reasons. One of Taylor Swift's longest relationships was with Joe Alwyn, which lasted for six years and started in May 2017. They met at the Met Gala in May, and they have been together ever since, but in April 2023, it all ended. Although the breakup wasn't messy, and he still got a song called Dress. In May 2023, she met Maddie Healy, and their relationship only lasted a month. But before they started dating, they had known each other since 2014. Taylor had her Eras tour at the Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, where she met Travis Kelsey. He wanted to get her attention, so he wanted to give her a friendship bracelet with his phone number on it. After she received it, she was drawn to him, and they started dating right after that. During an interview in December, Taylor Swift told Time. This all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell. We started hanging out right after that. So we actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for because we got to get to know each other. By the time I went to that first game, we were a couple. I think some people think that they saw our first date at that game. We would never be psychotic enough to launch a first date. She also said, when you say a relationship is public, that means I'm going to see him do what he loves. We're showing up for each other. Other people are there and we don't care. The opposite of that is that you have to put in an extreme amount of effort to make sure no one knows that you're seeing someone and we're just proud of each other and they have been supportive of each other ever since. So did Taylor finally find her one true love with Travis Kelsey and will put her past behind? Only time will tell. Now there is a noticeable pattern here. Every messy breakup inspires Taylor's greatest hits, resulting in massive success. Is it just a coincidence though? Perhaps subconsciously Taylor is addicted to drama-filled relationships, emotional roller coasters, and suffering from heartbreak as it fuels her music, propelling her career even further. Maybe she doesn't even realize it herself. Or could it be that even though she is in her 30s, she experiences commitment issues and avoids deeper feelings causing her to change partners so often? What do you think? Most of the time, dating can be hard. Imagine doing that with the whole world watching. It's terrifying, and this causes most celebrities to break up, and Taylor Swift is not exempt. Her sweet, beautiful nature, simple but elegant appearance, and intelligence have attracted gorgeous men into her life. If there is one thing she has taught us, it is to be yourself, no matter what others think. We would love to hear from you. Please comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more juicy updates.